Hello, good morning. My hair looks a little bit crazy because I let it, I washed it last night and I let it air dry, but I'm gonna fix it later. Um, but I wanna do a quick little workout on my form app. Having a little bit of a slow start to my morning because it's already 7.37 and usually I start my workout around seven. Um, but I use the form app to work out. They have, I like it because they have strength workouts and they have Pilates. And I've only been doing the strength workouts for like the past month, but I'm gonna do Pilates today. I really wanna get into mat Pilates. So I'm gonna do their Friday Pilates schedule, which is, today's Friday, which is 15 minutes sculpted arms. And then I'm gonna do a five minute booty and abs. These workouts are really good. I've been sore all week, like super sore. <laughs> so you really, really feel it. So I'm gonna start doing this. Hopefully Luca keeps sleeping. Even if he wakes up, he's already used to seeing me work out. I've been doing it for the past month at home. So he's already, he already knows what I'm doing. He thinks it's funny. It's really cute because sometimes he'll try to do the workouts with me. <laughs> um, sometimes he starts whining and he doesn't want me to work out, but I end up getting it done anyways. So let's get this done. I don't feel like working out today because I just want to act. I, I want to just get ready while he's sleeping, but I know I'm going to feel better once I work out and if I have to get ready with him awake. Well, I'm talking too much. Let's start working out. Welcome to your Pilates flow of the day. I'm super excited. It'll really enhance slowly walking it out into a nice plank right here. Meet me here. Press through those toes. Press through those toes. Right, we'll into that plank. What? So you got we'll that nice set of rocking yeah. chairs. So bring it back up. Press okay, let's go in. I'll fill it with this to your a little bit later. No, I'm, I'm good right now. I'm going to shower after this. Good. Into. Let. My arms are already jello. Good. 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 Oh, how did you see? Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. How did you sleep, baby? Is that a pee -pee? Oh, baby, you have a cut on your lip. Mommy's doing. Mommy's working out. Baby, I gotta change your diaper. Fuerte. Fuerte. Luca is fuerte. Whoa. Fuerte. Wow, baby. Again. Again? Okay, mommy, we'll put it together. But first, let's make our smoothie. I really wanted to make... I really wanted to make a breakfast sandwich, but I ran out of eggs, egg whites. We really got to... We really got to do groceries sometime today or tomorrow. Um, but we're going to make a smoothie instead. This is the protein powder that I love using. It's so good. It's plant-based. I think I showed it to you guys before. It's called Epic Protein. I order it from Amazon. Hi, baby. Cool. 
Um, and I really like it. It has no gums, no flavoring, no additives. You get 20 grams of protein per serving. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, certified vegan, USDA organic. It has, it's a blend of real vanilla, cinnamon, baobab, and lacuma, and more things. It's like a whole, look, <laughs> look at, yes, because mommy has to make a smoothie. You want to make a smoothie with mama? Okay. Okay. Come make a smoothie with mommy. With Sarah? With Sarah? You want a waffle with Sarah? With Okay. He always asks me for a waffle with Sarah. You want a waffle with Sarah? Okay, but leave the, <laughs> leave the camera. Oh, mommy. Baby, mommy's gonna make you a waffle, okay? No. Gonna go. I'm gonna make you a waffle with Sarah. No. You don't want a waffle? No. You want yogurt? Strawberries. You want strawberries? Okay, I'll get you strawberries. Go, go sit down. And then I love Armra. So this is an immune, It's this is Armra colostrum. It's supposed to protect your body, regenerate and strengthen. Um, it has 200 plus bioactive nutrients and prebiotics. It's a superfood supplement. The scoops are really tiny. I put two scoops of it in my smoothie. Like, look at how tiny the little scooper is. Um, and you can even give it to your kids. I forgot around what age. Luca's already able to have it. For kids, you can do a half a scoop. Um, and it's really good. It helps with your allergies. If you get a lot of allergies, it helps with your immunity system a lot. Um, and you have to add it to something really cold. Like, it could be really cold water or a drink. I do a smoothie. Okay, I got my smoothie. I'm going to take my seed... Um, daily symbiotic first so this is a probiotic and a prebiotic supplement I take two every morning I usually take it when I when I first wake up because it's the best to take it on an empty stomach but I forgot this morning on the days I work out I like to add this to my water also it's called element this one is the raspberry flavor they have a few different flavors but it's it's like this salty electrolyte drink mix I really, really like it. So it has a thousand milligrams of sodium. Apparently a lot of us are deficient in sodium, especially when you work out. If you're someone that sweats a lot when you work out, you're losing a lot of sodium. I sweat a lot. It also has 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. There's no sugar and there's only two grams of carbs. I really like it. I like the little salty flavor. My favorite flavors so far are raspberry salt and watermelon salt. The more water you add, the less salty it'll be. So like if you don't like it, like I remember like the first time I tried it, I added it to a water bottle that was like 16 ounces and it was too salty for me. This is about 30 ounces. Um, that works for me. Sometimes I add even a little bit more water. Like I'll drink some and then I'll add a little bit more water so that it won't be as salty. By the way, this is the best tumbler in my opinion. I used to use my Stanley all the time. This one has just won me over. This is Brewmate. It's like little things that, that I feel like make it stand out for me. Like for instance, this little bottom part is like a little rubber part, which is nice when you put things down that it just doesn't clonk. It was something so small that I noticed compared to my Stanley. And then my camera turned off because it said my memory card had no more memory in it. So I deleted some stuff. Hopefully we're fine now, but Oh, I was saying the sh get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the straw is really easy to clean. It's like a silicone tip and you can take it apart down here. It's just really easy to like take apart and like really clean everything. And then my favorite feature is that you can twist this part here. And then it's leak proof. I cannot tell you how many times Luca just grabbed my Stanley and like water went everywhere. So it's like really convenient. So it's really, and sometimes he likes to just grab it and walk around with it. He likes to drink from my cup. But if I know he's just playing, I can put it on the twist mode and know that nothing is gonna spill. Or if you just wanna travel with it, but you wanna make sure like if you put it in your bag or something, it's not gonna spill. This is a very convenient feature. So that really won me over. God, this breakout that I'm having. <sighs> Anyways, um, we're almost going to head out because Luca's getting pretty impatient. I think he needs to go burn some energy. So I think we're going to go walk around somewhere indoors. Um, I had to finish my makeup off camera because he was 
not letting me finish. I, I kept taking so many breaks. But I bought this little scarf yesterday and I loved the color combo of the pink and the red. Baby! Baby. I gave him my little fan to play with. So we hey! No! <gasps> no! I can't do one. He just threw it in the toilet. It happened so quickly. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me wash my hands. Okay, we're gonna try that again. I'm gonna try not to talk so that he doesn't hear me. He's coming. Really quickly, for the millionth time, I'm gonna put some mousse in my hair. I let it air dry um, last night. But I feel like if I put mousse, it'll tame it a little bit. And then I really want to wear that scarf on my head. I feel like this might be my summer style if it ends up turning out good. This. How does the back look, guys? How's the back look? How does the back look? I don't know if I look crazy or if it looks cute. I feel like it's looking a little crazy. What happened, baby? Oh my shoes. Oh, he's telling me to put my shoes on. Oh my shoes. You want mommy to put her shoes on? Okay. Okay, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, baby pie. I'm gonna go to the bookstore. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> You guys, I love this weather and the headscarf. The scarf keeps growing on me. Oh, a rock <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna get this book. No, no. Okay, mommy's gonna get this book and then we'll go, okay? A car? A car? You wanna go see the car? Okay. Okay, let's go see the car. <laughs> There's a car in the mall that he wants to look at. We're on our way to Cheesecake Factory. I'm so excited. I am starving. I only had that smoothie this morning and it's just been such a long day that I genuinely have not had a moment to eat, which I try not to do that, but it's just one of those days. I'm so excited. We're gonna order probably a bunch of appetizers because I feel like with Cheesecake Factory, the menu's so big that you want to try different things, so we always end up getting different appetizers. Yeah, the menu's a chapter book. Yeah. It's too big. It's part of my summer reading. It's too big and it's like, the variety is so broad that like one day, we got appetizers and entrees, and it was like Asian and Mexican and American. Like it was just so many different things that I don't know. I I like cohesiveness. That's my baby daddy. Hello. That's him. He's so cute. I'm also the designer of that T-shirt you're wearing. <laughs> They're on sale now. I love wearing Randy's clothes. I stole a pair of his pants. <laughs> Bless you, baby. They're super baggy and they look so cute on me. And I'm wearing his t shirt. Oh, she's wearing left or right. This is just as good as I remembered it. Salud, baby. Bless you. Everybody, you didn't act today, right? No. All right, pushing through, my boy. It's just hot. Really huh? These are good. No, Should I put a room on it? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I kind of want to watch, um, you know, look up a um, air fryer recipe for like these. I bought it back from Trader Joe's. They're probably not going to taste like this, but. 
But I think yeah, what makes them this crispy make... is like the, it's not a really bad, it's like a, not a big batter, it's like a corn, corn starch? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we can look at that sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I guess this is the sauce for that. That looks like uh, the chili sauce. How many diamonds? One. Oh, sorry. Okay, Hi. Hi. Baby, what is that? The water. The water? Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so full. We ordered two appetizers to share, and then we got dessert. <laughs> oh, I'm just so full. Baby, you like the car? Oh my god. What? <laughs> the what? Oh, I almost forgot to end this vlog. <laughs> I am so tired. Luca went to sleep a little bit earlier than usual because he did a nap, so he was super tired. So I already showered, I did my skincare. I was on the couch reading that new book that I got. And the intro to it is a little bit boring because the intro is about a little bit about, it's another author speaking about the author. So it's just a little bit boring, but I do want to read it because I feel like the foundation of it is important. Let's do a little book talk really quick for anyone who loves to read as much as I do. Here, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm so excited for it, for my appointment. Have you guys read The Housemaid? Not The Housemaid. Yes, have you guys read The Housemaid? Ooh, this is good lighting. Let me put you guys here. So this is the book that I was reading right now this is the one that i picked up picked up i can't speak i don't know what's wrong with me you guys i don't know this is the book that i picked up at barnes and noble no this is the book that i picked up at barnes and noble earlier today i have heard such good things about it i'm really excited to like really dive into it i've only read this much i read like 10 pages font is so tiny hurting my eyes i might have to get it on the kindle so into more exciting reading have you guys read those of you who have been reading the housemaid series by frida mcfadden are you reading the third book because i'm on the third book right now first of all let me let me rewind to the first two books so the original book the housemaid by frida mcfadden so good I thought it was so good it's like one of those books and thrillers like like psychological thrillers that's perfect that gets you into reading like if you're not a reader or if you want to jump back into reading and read something that's going to be quick and exciting and get you hooked that is one of the perfect books to do it with i forgot what the second one is called but it has the housemaid title in it as well and then the third one just came out a week or two ago it's called the housemaid is watching i am 50 percent through the book and it is so boring and so frustrating I don't I I don't know what's going on but I need to know if anyone else feels this way because I almost don't want to finish it but I am gonna finish it because I'm more like I'm already on the third book I need to know what happens but I'm finding it so boring and I'm finding the characters really frustrating like pretty much all the characters are really really annoying me especially the main character um oh my god what's her name her husband is enzo i forgot her name but as parents they're really annoying me <laughs> i'm just very frustrated with the book and it's also really boring right now like why am i 50 percent through the book and nothing has happened why is there no action like not even a little suspense or anything. I love Freedom McFadden books, but this one is just not hitting. And I don't know if that's just something that happens when books come in a series, like they 
the first one is usually so good and then it just kind of dwindles i haven't read a lot of series to have this formed opinion but yeah um that's where i'm at other than that guess what i'm gonna do tonight i'm gonna watch bridgerton i did finally start the series i told you guys that i hadn't started the new season and like every day and every week would go by and i was just too tired to actually start it but guess what i actually did start it i think i watched two episodes and it's starting to get good i'm actually really into this new season because i didn't love last season it was okay the spin-off with the queen when she was younger that i found so good um but this new season it's, it's starting to get really good so i'm gonna watch it i'm so excited hopefully i don't fall asleep but i will see you guys next week i'm probably going to vlog a whole other day tomorrow when i go get my hair done it's gonna be like probably an entire hair vlog so i will see you guys next week for that